Hey everyone, it's Rachel Fisher and Poppy today, and today we're back with our top 10 unbelievable events that will happen during our lifetime, part two. You love the first one, so get a pen and paper, or I don't know, use your phone, and get ready to mark down these momentous moments in history, though some still remain unpredictable. Coming in at number 10, the fall of the Chinese satellite, starting off at number 10. This one just happened, so I'm counting it as number 10, so sue me. By now, you've probably heard of space junk starting to become a problem. And the fall of the Chinese rocket is a perfect example of something that could very well happen again. The Chinese Long Branch 5B launched on April 29th of this year, but shortly after the launch, it was announced that part of the ship that carried the fuel would fall back to Earth, but no one knew where. Given that the majority of Earth is made up of water, there was a smaller chance that it was going to end up on land, though there was still a chance, which is the scary part. Thankfully, the 5B landed just a little ways from the Maldives, but scientists say that this is the fourth biggest uncontrolled re-entry in history. If the 5B had landed on land, it could have caused some serious damage, so thank goodness it didn't, but it almost did. But what's worse is that there are over 50 dangerous items scientists are keeping their eye on in orbit right now. Most of them are discarded rocket boosters from Soviet spacecrafts that should they collide could cause harmful debris to fly back towards Earth, and the results could be catastrophic. Hopefully that doesn't happen in our lifetime, but unfortunately, it definitely could. Ah! Okay, you should go now. Bye. Okay, full disclosure, I'm gonna brutalize this. I tried to look it up, but there was nothing! So next up at number nine, we have Churyumov Gerasimenko Comet. Churyumov Gerasimenko Comet is a comet named after two of its discoverers that orbits the sun about every six years. It made history when it was the first comet to be orbited and landed on by a robot. The Rosetta landed on the comet in 2014, but unfortunately died out when the comet moved too far into Jupiter's orbit. Still, we were able to gain valuable information about the material makeup of comets. Scientists discovered phosphorus and organic compounds such as glass Scene, which suggests that comets could have helped bring life to Earth. Its travel path passes the orbit of both Jupiter and Mars, but never enters Earth's. Discovered in 1969, the comet was bright enough to be seen from Earth without a telescope, but now, as the comet is constantly being swayed by Jupiter's gravitational force, it may take a little more effort to spot it passing by. So let's get a cool, awesome telescope and just go check it out. Coming in at number eight, Saturn in opposition. So I get a kind of cool spacey birthday gift this year as on August 2nd, Saturn will reach opposition. What does that mean? It means that the Earth will pass directly between Saturn and the Sun, meaning that the planet will be at its brightest and will continue to shine after this day. So a few more weeks after. It takes Saturn around 29 Earth years for it to orbit the Sun, so this event is rare. But if you do happen to miss it, don't worry, just keep looking to the sky. Saturn will continue to shine for a few more weeks after. Coming in at number seven, monarch butterfly migration. So if you're a big fan of crazy yearly events that you have to be in the right time and place for, and you love butterflies, well, I got a little treat for you. If you venture to Mexico or California around September, October, you may see one of the most colorful insect migrations in the world. Every year, monarch butterflies migrate from Canada and the Eastern US to the warmer climate of Mexico and California to huddle together by the millions in trees. The one sad part is that these beautiful insects will never really return home, and this will be the last time they will ever be seen. On their way home, the female monarchs lay eggs, and it is only when the next generation grows grows up that the journey home is finally complete. So, and then the cycle begins again. Number six, planetary alignment, September 8th, 2040. Despite what the fates foretold in the tale of Hercules, for example, nothing really bad happens when the planets align. Some believe that the gravity is magnified and the tidal forces will lead to catastrophic events like earthquakes and tsunamis, etc. However, in truth, it really makes no difference. But it's definitely a sight to behold. Mark your calendars because at 7.30 p.m. on September 8th, 2040, five naked eye planets will cluster together, including Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and the crescent moon. Coming in at number five, we have Brood X. You know that buzzing sound you hear on warm summer nights? That's oddly soothing, but very persistent. You might already know I'm talking about cicadas, not crickets. And this year we are about to hear one of the rarest symphonies in the world. Every year, a smallish number of cicadas rise up from the ground and begin buzzing. But brood X is a result of over 17 years of patience. Once every 17 years, this brood of cicadas emerges from the ground 
in the trillions, and it's estimated that their song will reach up to 100 decibels. Brood X, or the Great Eastern Brood, is said to start emerging in May and will hang around for about five to six weeks. By that time, they're discarded, exoskeletons will litter the ground, so watch your step. These long cycles of hibernation are actually their evolutionary strategy that dates back to 1.8 million years ago. The weather was unpredictable back then, so cicadas developed different cycle lengths to help combat this so they could survive. So if you live in Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina, maybe carry a pair of earplugs with you later this month just in case it gets too loud, but otherwise, enjoy. Number four, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft. NASA's New Horizons sp spacecraft just reached a massive milestone in space travel as it is now 50 times as far than Earth is from the sun and was even able to photograph the Voyager 1, which is even farther. But by the 2040s, we will see New Horizons finally meet Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 into interstellar space. New Horizon gets its power source from a single, essentially nuclear battery that sources its power through the natural radioactive decay of plutonium dioxide fuel. The decay rate is high enough to create a reliable amount of heat so the engine can just keep on going. Considering the never ending amount of travel time, who knows what information Horizon Voyager 1 and 2 will deliver to us. Who knows, maybe by the 2040s, it won't just join its cousins in space, but it might come across another machine sent from somewhere else in the universe. Possibilities are endless. You know I'm excited about aliens, you guys. Coming in at number three, we have the hybrid solar eclipse in 2031. In 2031, one of the rarest eclipses in history will take place, a hybrid solar eclipse. What is it? Well, a hybrid solar eclipse is an eclipse that starts out in one form and then morphs into another. For instance, it can turn from an annular eclipse to a total eclipse, which is exactly what will happen for one minute and eight seconds on Friday, November 14th, 2031. The reason as to why they are so rare is that both distances of the moon and the sun have to be exactly right. Hybrids usually happen about once per decade, so make sure you mark this one down in your calendars. Number two, we have Sagita Goes Nova. Many of the stars we see in the night sky today are just echoes of stars that used to be. They're light only reaching us today after they've long since gone. The universe is constantly moving, shrinking and expanding in different ways, collapsing galaxies and creating black holes. Well, next up in our lifetime, potentially, if I make it to 100, these two stars in the Sagitte binary star system are going to collide, creating a star explosion called the Nova. This collision will cause Sagitte to shine brighter than any other stars in the Milky Way. Sagitte is considered to be a cataclysmic variable star, and if you spot it from Earth, you will see a light gradually rising and falling. This flickering is a result of two stars circling each other. One is a regular star like our sun, and the other is a white dwarf. It has recently been discovered that the stars aren't just close to each other, they're spiraling towards each other, and scientists predict that in 2083, the two will finally collapse into one another, creating a nova. Number one, visit to Mars. In the last video, I talked about how in 2024, NASA hopes that we will put boots on the moon once again. So what's next? Well, if that extended stay goes well, the next plan in the agenda is to put boots on Mars, something we just might see in our lifetime. Key components for the mission are already underway, which include development of long duration life support systems. NASA's InSight mission is now on Mars and its stay has been extended in order to measure what life on Mars, such as quakes and dust devils, would be like, such as how often do earthquakes and dust devils happen. It's also a test for how useful solar panels will be on Mars if it's an effective form of energy. But its journey to and from the planet is the precursor to manned missions to Mars, so depending on how the next year goes, we might be around to see astronauts on Mars. How cool is that? And that is our top 10 list. If you like this video, you know what to do. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And just in case you want more, subscribe and comment about all the space things. We love it. I, I especially. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher, and you saw my dog Poppy, but she's on a walk right now. So she says bye, but not like a big deal about it, you know? So anyway, and until next time, guys, take care. Hey guys, this is Poppy coming to say hi. Hi. This is my best friend. Okay, ready? We're gonna do a video together. Ugh. On their way home, the female monarchs lay eggs and lay eggs in the <sighs> Lay eggs. You know the buzzing sound you hear though, persistent is oddly soothing on, oh my God. You know that buzzing sound you hear on warm summer nights that's oddly soothing? Oh, I can't say soothing today. That's...
oddly soothing but very but very persistent oddly soothing but very persistent you might already know what i'm talking about but cicadas not crit about oh god 